we have these two cars let me take it from the middle of these two cars and i'll see how far the bike goes you know this is a city motorcycle that's primarily what it's targeting we have the gap i hope the driver does not spit good car or something okay thank you he did not spit Good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to another video this is the Royal Enfield Hunter 350 and this is probably this has got the best recipe you can get to be a game changer why do I say so well to put things into perspective the top of the line that is the red Metro Rebel you know that's the top of the line that model costs approximately 30,000 rupees cheaper than the Honda CB350 Highness that I'm talking about the base model of the Honda Highness right so the top of the line this 30,000 rupees lesser than the Honda Highness and look at it it has got everything what it needs to have you know it has got nice 17 inch wheels which are friendly for the city it's got tubeless tires as well dual disc setup you have uh, dual channel ABS as standard it's got nice flat seat which is quite wide over here a very low profile motorcycle that engine the, that is based on the new Royal Enfields J series platform this is something that all of us have been you know uh, admiring and appreciating for quite some time ever since it has been launched and this is almost 14 kgs lighter than the classic 350 this is approximately 5 kgs lighter than the Honda Highness as well so what else do you need that's a perfect recipe proper win-win right okay so without waiting without spending any more time wasting any more time let's go ride this thing first of all thanks a lot for uh, uh, thanks a lot to electronic city motors they are located over here on hosur main road that's very close to the kudlu gate junction so if in case if you're in bangalore somewhere do make sure you to you know visit them check it out i'll leave all the details of the showroom in the description okay now let's fire this thing let's first listen to the sound because Royal Enfield is all about the character about the sound ah, amazing so such a beautiful looking thing such a good sounding motorcycle I think that out of all the three models that they have right now in the J series platform that's a meteor uh, the Oh, the brakes are quite nice the meteor the classic and the hunter i think hunter is probably the best sounding bike let's go oh things pulls quite well just the way you know the classic the 350 or the meteor does this is slightly more punch at the bottom because it's lighter in weight We'll check the brakes real quick over here and we'll take a quick u-turn and see how easy it is to maneuver the bike okay that was quite easy the on off throttle you know the calibration of the throttle is quite good the mirror is little bit buzzy and yeah if you can see it over here you can see it's bouncing right but anyways, we are not riding in Bangkok, we are riding in Bangalore's traffic. So we will get to know how the engine heat management is, how good the brakes are and how easy or difficult it is to maneuver this motorcycle in city traffic. The pull is very clean. Now we are in second gear, sorry, the third gear and this is probably the sweet spot of the motorcycle. You can just roll on the throttle whenever you are in third gear and it just easily it pulls out very cleanly i'm sorry i might have to you know change lanes a little bit here and there because i mean that's how you can ride a motorcycle in bangalore otherwise you'll get stuck at one place okay so we have a speed breaker a little ahead of us let's 
okay so yeah the suspension is not really soft it's a little bit towards the firm side i was wrong i was a little bit i did not interpret the suspension properly so the suspension is definitely slightly stiffer towards uh, the stiffer side and that is uh, something which will help you having stability on this motorcycle especially in city traffic you know when you need to quickly change directions or slice through the traffic the way we did here yeah the suspension will definitely help and the seat is nice and flat and wide as well and the tank has been designed in a way that you see this small scoop over here so your legs your thighs will actually hug this part of the tank and overall riding uh, ergonomics is quite decent it's the handlebar is flatter and it is you know bent towards the rider unlike the retro version and here we are at the red light oh man the brakes are quite good i just you know slammed on to the front brake and it worked it immediately stopped there was no intrusion from the abs whatsoever and while we are standing at this traffic light let me show you the seat height right so i am 5 feet 8 32 inch inseam and i'm wearing these boots these are not quite tall either so i can easily flat foot on both the sides there is a good amount of bent over my knees absolutely comfortable no problem at all so even for taller riders if in case if you want to sit slightly backwards you can still keep your feet flat on the ground and shorter riders they can sit, sit towards the front of the seat and they can keep their feet flat no problem at all the foot peg has been positioned slightly back that is why it does not foul with your shin bone and that's a good thing you know this is one problem which is there on the interceptor right if you keep your foot feet down the shin bone now it fouls with the stock position of the foot peg the one that is there the front foot peg that is little off and the overall attention to detail is something that we have not seen from the Royal Enfield in the recent past even on their flagship interceptor 650 and the gt650 you know the welding is very clean there are no unnecessary weld marks that you will see or spot on this motorcycle the fit and finish is decent enough i mean the plastics this uh, switch gear i think they could have done slightly better but it's nothing to complain about Let's, we sh i should not be going you know whining about this thing so the instrument console is quite loaded as well so you get a clock you get a gear position indicator and you have the fuel gauge you have an odometer trip a trip b and the trip f in case if you're running low on fuel and i love the way how they have given the instrument console in a slightly offset manner it's not right at the center it's slightly on uh, the side and another thing is that this motorcycle also comes with a usb socket that is placed over here on uh, next to the clutch lever underneath the clutch lever as you can see this so yeah this has everything that it needs the engine heat so far not bad i can feel a little bit of heat coming out of the engine but it's not something that will be troublesome not something that will be bothering you i could have actually gone straight you know in this gap as well but you know those guys that activa thing is standing there that's the reason we are not going but yeah that actually you know is good enough to showcase how capable this bike is to you know handle your city duties your everyday commute to work or being a city motorcycle this is exactly what it needs to have and it has it the handlebar grips are nice and comfortable it's not the standard grip this is something that you would have seen on the meteor and they have you know taken that thing forward so it's a nice comfortable grip okay the traffic light has opened up let's take a quick u-turn and then we'll go straight and see oh so you can actually tip this bike fair bit you can you know it the tires i don't know what is the stock tire on this perhaps i think it's a c8 it's not as bad i mean it's definitely uh, not like the top of the notch thing but then yeah the grip is quite decent on dry okay so now comes the point of whether should you buy this and what all are the alternatives right so recently tvs has launched the ronin i have not ridden that bike because i did not feel like riding it to be honest that design is it just does not get me i mean i do not understand what were they trying to design with that motorcycle 
I hate that design honestly and I would not buy a motorcycle which is like a confused soul in itself perhaps the motor must be good usually TVS motors are quite good so I'm assuming that the motor would be really good but yeah that's it so that's ruled out I would not want that and another thing is that if you are getting a 350 cc motorcycle from Roland Field which is equally as capable as the Ronin and then you have get you are getting more power more low and torque right in that case why would you even consider the Ronin so that's ruled out next thing is the Honda Highness again as I said in the beginning of the video this bike is the top of the line that is the Rebel Metro is 30,000 rupees cheaper than the Honda Highness so that's a lot of money when you convert that into on-road price that's like in Bangalore at least that goes quite close to 37 38 thousand rupees that's a lot of money right I can I can probably buy better riding gear helmet I can get accessories and everything else and I can still save money so yeah I mean great work Roll and Field what amazing thing you guys have designed I have no clue how they have cut the cost where have they cut the cost you know to bring it this motorcycle at such an affordable price tag but incredible incredible work done so if you are looking for a you know a beautiful looking functional and usable motorcycle for your daily city duties and your highway commutes this is it I don't think there is anything better than this at this particular price point in case you want the retro looks the exhaust note is so engaging on this thing amazing I mean you can literally play around in the city on this motorcycle it feels so agile Oh, great work Roll and Field awesome thanks a lot for tuning in guys I hope you guys liked the video in case if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and acquaintances and I'll see you guys again in the next one until then stay safe ride safe and God bless you all bye bye